Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome, my name is Morgan. For those of you who've been following me for a while, welcome back. Um, today I'm coming to you with a brand new video. It is the 6th of August today um, and today we have come to Ikea. Um, so we very recently have moved house so I've moved out of my family home that I've like grown up in literally since being four years old and we've moved into a new family home. Um, so along with that comes new bedroom which has meant the last two weeks I have been very busy decorating, painting, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, I've come to Ikea today. I am planning to buy hopefully two different units. I want to buy a sort of like shelving unit um, that I can display sort of all my like collectibles, trinket items, like just my little bits and pieces in my room. Um, and then I also want to buy sort of like a bookshelf, like shelving unit. Um, I'm very lucky in that all the other furniture in my room is fitted already. So I don't need to worry about any of that. But yeah, those two units I definitely need. And I'm also going to see if I see any other sort of like home decor, like furnishings, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, if you're excited to see what I get up to, then stay tuned. Um, later on in the video, I will also be including a few snippets from sort of my room makeover of when I first started decorating. And then I will also show you the finished result. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for all that. And this is why we came to Ikea early, guys. I'm literally as close to the front as you can imagine. Like, they are the disabled spaces and I'm literally parked here. It is just gone 10am on a Monday morning as the store opens. Good planning on my behalf for once. <laughs> Into Ikea we go, guys. I've only ever um, actually been here once before and that was two maybe three years ago um i came with cameron because he was wanting to buy a desk chair so yeah this is only actually ever my second time so i'm quite excited just picked up the shopping bag guys off we go i'm gonna pick up one of these storage jars because i actually want one to display some of my sweets in so in the bag it goes Okay, this is going quite well, guys. This is the unit I want, that I know I've definitely decided on. Um, so, let's take note of that. It's £65. Okay, it's in aisle seven. So I found this unit, which is pretty much what I want, um, because it's got lots of storage in it and I saw one the other day but it was too deep and all the ones I've kept seeing are too deep for the space but this is like 31 centimetres all the ones I've been seeing were like 39 um, so that is definitely an option so I'm going to take note of that or I could get this bookcase instead of the other like storage unit because that's nice as well. Look at these glass domes I've found guys. They would be so cute. Can you just imagine like a uh, Beauty and the Beast rose in there? That would be so unreal. So I've now seen this shelving unit um, and they do it in white as well. Maybe this will be better instead of the other um, vertical unit I saw before because as much as I like the other one, I did read, I think you meant to fasten it to the wall and in our new house, literally all the walls are made of plasterboard and you can't put heavy objects on the wall, like we're not even allowed to mount TVs on the wall so I don't know that it'll be any good. However, this is really nice and it's practically the same size. It's just enclosed as opposed to open. Um, and it looks like really well made and everything. Um, so yeah, it says they do it in white. So 
um, I'll have a look. <laughs> So I just scanned the thing for more information and look it's even cheaper in white, in white it's only £39 so that's a bargain. <laughs> I love how they just have sample clothing for you to like envision your wardrobe and this is done out in 70s theme. <laughs> right, I'm in the marketplace bit and I've come to the bedding section. So I'm just having a little look but potentially I'm going to get this bedding um, but it's sort of an off pink colour so I haven't decided entirely but it's £22 for the size of my bed which isn't too bad it's getting filled with goods I've also picked up a fitted sheet and some pillowcases now we're heading on through to more stuff guys I found a bigger dome that's going to be nicer with my rose in so I've swapped it because that's the one I had originally but I found this one and it's only £5 more, so I'm going to get that instead. Okay, here we are guys. Time to decide on what I'm actually going to buy. Found it guys, and look, the very last one. As if it were meant to be. Okay, and this is the other shelving unit I want to get, and they've got it, but I'm going to have to get it delivered because that is not going to fit in my car. <laughs> I didn't even think about um, how big like the packaging was gonna be um when i chose it but it's 202 centimeters <laughs> um so yeah i'll order that online um and get it delivered to my house <laughs> we've got the goods and i'm now back on my car so now i've just got to load this in and then the other shelving unit i will order to get delivered to my house when I get home. And I'll show you everything I got properly once I'm home. <laughs> so, the good thing is, I literally think I must have been in and out of Ikea in record breaking time. And, you know, that's definitely what you've got to do guys. If you want to come to Ikea and want to be super quick, you need to come first thing on a Monday morning because it is 11.53. And when I went in there, it was about quarter past 10. So I've literally been like an hour and a half and I'm in and out, got what I need to get. That's what we like. <laughs> okay guys, we are back from Ikea. I'm back in my bedroom. Ignore this wall here. Um, it's the only part of my room that I haven't painted yet. Basically there was like a massive mirror there and we couldn't get it off the wall when we eventually did get it off the wall it tore off part of the wall so just didn't have to fill it back in it's all been sorted now um yeah i just need to paint that anyway we spent 96 pound 25 which is actually pretty good going um although the one unit i want i haven't bought because i'm gonna have to order it um because it's like really tall and wasn't gonna fit in my car. So that's like another 55 pound. So adding that on top of my 96 gets um, 100 and 51, 151.25 I think. I'm not very good at mental maths. My maths is great, mentally, no. Anyway, first thing I picked up was this jar because I really wanted a nice jar that I can just display my sweets in in my room um, and that was how much even was that oh four pound so we got that um, then the glass jar that I'm gonna recreate the Beauty and the Beast rose so I got that along with the rose like can you just picture it guys and then i can put some cute little fairy lights in it um so the jar was 15 pound and the rose was 50p ah that's a 
that's a bargain. On the shelf it said it was £1.50 and I thought £1.50 was like a fair price. Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> we love we love when things are cheaper than expected. Um, yeah, so I got those. Uh, then I got this bedding set. Um, which is like pink with sort of just like a flowery tree pattern on it um and that was 20 pound yeah yeah that was 20. i also bought a fitted sheet that matches in that same color pink um and the fitted sheet was 11 pound 50 and then i also bought another two pillowcases that are the same pink color um and the pillowcases were five pound so that's good so i got some new bedding and then lastly i just got this um paper waste like bin for my room because i needed a new bin because i don't actually have one um and yeah this is just plain white mesh perfect um so yeah and the bin was where's the price of it on here oh four pound fifty i was gonna say um so yeah that was everything i bought and then obviously the bookshelf which was the white billy bookcase is that what it was called yeah um and that was £35, which again, I thought was really reasonable. Um, so yeah, this afternoon now, I'm going to put together my bookcase, hopefully. Um, and I'll show you when it's complete. So this is what I bought, guys. The Billy bookcase, which is 80 by 28 by 106 centimetres in white. Why does it make it so difficult to open? <laughs> does it have like a... I don't think this is the proper way to open it, but it's how I'm going to open it. Way we're in. Right. Okay, right. I've got... All the bits of word, the box of screws out the box. It actually looks like it's probably quite easy. There's like two side pieces, a back piece, a bottom, and three shelves. Like, there's only, oh God. Hmm, I don't know, maybe nine pieces. It surely can't be that hard to put together. You should be proud of me guys. Look, we're actually getting somewhere. I put four whole pieces together. I'm just hoping I've <laughs> done it right. Um, and so far so good, hopefully. We're on to step number four. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place <laughs> Oh my god guys, look, I actually did it, we've got a unit Now all that's left to do is put the shelves in place I'm actually really proud of myself, you know <laughs> Bob the Builder, I am, yes indeed I've completed it, oh look how good it looks I am so proud of myself. Um, yeah, I really didn't think I was going to be able to manage it, and I actually have. I'm going to actually, like, put things on it now. And <laughs> that'll be the moment of truth as to whether I've actually built it effectively. Because if anything's wrong, then it's just going to crumble to the ground. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is the real moment as to whether this is a success story or not we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for guys look the bed 
bedroom decorating is complete. We got pink wall, we got grey wall, and then another pink wall. I just need to do this patch, um, but I can't do it currently because we got this mirror stuck on the wall. The previous owners have literally super glued it on. So mum's just gone over to either home base or B&Q to try and get some instrument thing to like wedge down the back of it. So far we've tried like a metal rule, we've tried everything um, to like get stuff down the back, but <laughs> she's been YouTubing how to get mirrors off walls and she thinks she's got an idea. So fingers crossed. The good news is the mirror's off. The bad news is the state of the wall. <laughs> it literally looks like a load of bullet holes are now in the wall so that's not good the last wall is done yay guys the room is 100% complete so I'm going to show you around okay um so this is like obviously my door and I've done my mickey ears the whole way round um, and I've probably got room for about two more pairs at the bottom so absolutely love those and then so we've got this built-in storage here and I just keep all my jewelry and one of my candles on there I have that picture of me on the swing up the lookout tower when I went to Amsterdam and then this photo frame I made from our trip to Florida of some of my favourite pictures. Sorry, it's a bit hard to film because of where the light is in the window. Um, and then over here, so I've got this Cheshire Cat, which is actually meant to be a plant pot. But I'm thinking I might use it as a pen pot um, because that'll work. Anyway, he's super cute. And then that's all my hair stuff and makeup stuff in there. Uh, mirror here, which I'm just waiting for Justin to put up on the wall. Then I've got my bin. My wardrobes, which of course I had to attach my Nuimos to them. <laughs> and my bed with Abu and Jeannie. Um, and then new Cheshire Cat throw. Do you see there's a bit of a theme going on here, guys? <laughs> my beauty and the beast rose that i made and i'm so happy with how it turned out and it's got all cute little fairy lights in it as well um and then on here i've also got another candle and my cinderella slipper and then on the side of my bookcase is this sign that says loving you is like unicorns mermaids and fairy dust simply magical and I also have a Walt Disney World lanyard with my two brand new pins on there. Um, and then on my actual shelves, I've got all my books on the top shelf with my Disney Wally key. This cute sign that says cats are just little people in fur coats. And of course my bookend is Disney themed. Um, the three fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty. Uh, my sweet jar with all my American candy in. I've got Tootsie Rolls in there, Reese's Buttercups and Swedish Fish. Uh, my baseball, baseball that I actually got when I stayed with our friends in Cincinnati a few years ago. And then just my notebooks. And then I got these cute storage boxes which have all of my DVDs and things in. And then over on this wall I've got my Little Mermaid poster from the cinema um, which is all framed and then coming around here and then on my bedside table I've got my figment and then I've also got this Mickey lamp which again is super cute uh, so it's like Mickey Mouse's hands in the little love heart um, and I picked that one up at Asda um, which I just fell in love with it when I saw it um, so yeah, that is my room, uh, don't really think there's much else to show you, um, but yeah, obviously I had to stick with 
the theming. So everything in here is Disney themed and pink. Pink being my favourite colour. Yeah. Obviously it's not like 100%. There probably will be some more additions to it. But for the most part it's done. And I absolutely love it. Like my Mickey ears wall I'm obsessed with. Like my photo frame I'm obsessed with. My rose light. Like oh, I just love it. Um, so yeah that's going to conclude this video. If you have enjoyed, be sure to give a big thumbs up. The next video I post is probably going to be a very exciting announcement. Um, I haven't actually filmed the announcement yet, but I do have some very, very exciting news that I'm going to put out on this channel. So um, stay tuned for that. And yeah, hope to see you all again soon. Bye.